Hello everyone, I am Siddharthan. In the previous video, I explained you how we can build a breast cancer classification system with the help of neural networks and in that video we have seen how we can train our neural networks with numerical data. And in the upcoming videos, we will discuss how we can work on image recognition tasks with neural networks where we will train our neural networks with image data. So in image recognition, we cannot feed this image data directly to our neural network. So there are a lot of processing that we have to do on these images. So processing in the sense, what we will do is we will convert these images into numerical values. So the uh, neural networks and machine learning models cannot understand images. So we have to convert them into meaningful values and meaningful numbers. So that is what happens in image uh, processing part. And this is a, a complete conceptual video where I will explain you what is the thing that is happening uh, in this image processing. So once we understand these concepts, the next video will be on how we can implement all these things in Python. So once we get a clear understanding of these two things, the conceptual understanding and the hands-on part, uh, we can move on to a few deep learning projects where we can train our neural networks with image data. Okay. So in today's video, let's uh, focus mainly on how this image processing takes place. Okay. So let's get started. And the first thing that we have to understand is the image dimensions. Let's say that there is this image. So we have a dog image and we can represent this uh, dimension of this particular image as width and height. Okay. So this particular image has some particular width and, and some height. So this will be my image dimension and I can represent this image dimension as width into height. Okay. So let's say that this image as a dimension of 200 into 200. So you can just uh, uh, check some images that you have in your laptop or your phone. Just go to the properties and see. So you will find this uh, thing as 200 into 200 or 300 into 300. So this depends on what is the size of your image and what is the dimension of your image. Okay. So this basically means it's like um, your width is 200 and your height is 200. So these values can be anything. Now we have to understand what is you know what does this 200 represents so these 200 into 200 represent the pixels of this image so you can split this images into different boxes so this is how you can split this image so consider that so let's let's take this particular uh, you know first grid so let's let's take this first column and let's take this uh, first row okay so consider this image as a matrix that has different uh, number of cells or different number of squares in, in rows and columns okay so we have multiple rows and multiple columns are there so consider that there are uh, 200 boxes in the first row and 200 boxes in the uh, first column. So in that case, you can represent this image as 200 into 200 image. So in this case, if you found that will be like 15 or 13 images, but assume that there are like 200 boxes. So this is how uh, you can represent the dimension of an image. So 200 means like, so the first 200 represents the width. So that means like you can uh, split this image into 200 different boxes in the horizontal axis. And the second uh, value means you can split it uh, again into 200 boxes in the vertical axis and each box represents my pixels okay so if we want to find how many total boxes are there so that will be the count of the total number of pixels that we have so in this case the total number of pixels is 40000 so this is nothing but 200 into 200 so when you multiply these two numbers you will get 40000 because like this first 200 represents only the first row and the second number represents the number of boxes in the first column so this is for only this particular uh, column and this row so uh, let me just show you so consider that there are like uh, 200 uh, small small boxes are there and this is represented by this particular value called as 200 and uh, you know so the second value represents so there are like 200 boxes in this vertical column so if you want to find how many total boxes are there, you need to multiply these two. And when you multiply 200 into 200, you will get this uh, 40,000. So this is this represents the number of pixels that you have in your image. And, and this is what like pixel means. So if it is, if we talk about the 720p image, so that will contain more number of pixels. So as the number of pixel increases, the resolution of your image increases and your image will look more clear. So that is the idea behind this, uh, you know, image dimension and, and this pixel. So image dimension is nothing but how we can represent this image in terms of its, you know, dimensions where we will use this width and height. Okay. So now let's try to understand what are all the different resolutions that we have. So, you know, uh, like 
if it is for 480p resolution so we all would have known this from youtube so we select the resolution of the video as either 480p or 720p or 1080p and so on so 480p means your dimensions will be 720 into 480 as i've told you 720 is your uh, you know width and uh, the second number uh, 480 is your uh, height okay so this is the dimension for this uh, 480p whereas in the previous case we have seen just uh, a 200 into 200 image and uh, this is the dimension for a 480 image 480p image resolution image and this is the resolution for your 720p and so on so like this is like corresponds to the uh, tv resolutions that we have so we may have like um, a 720p hd monitor or a tv or a or a 1080p hd tv and 4k and so on okay so the total number of pixels so if you want to calculate it you want to you know multiply these two values so the first value represents your width a number of pixels in your width and second number represents your i so 720 into 480 gives uh, 3 lakh 45 thousand 600 and, and this is for 720p resolution we have these many pixels and for 1080p this is the number and so on so this is how you can understand the image dimension and image resolution as you have more and more pixels the uh, the image will be you know uh, you will get more defined image the image will be more clear so the previous case it was a 200 into 200 so you have you know the total number of small small boxes that you have is 40,000 and uh, if you consider the 720p image 720p resolution you will have a 921,000 uh, you know 921 like or I can say this as 921,600 small small boxes are there which is basically my total pixels okay now uh, just just try to understand this image dimension now we are going to understand about another factor uh, when it comes to images so we have two types of images one is grayscale image and the other type is rgb image okay so grayscale images are nothing but black and white images where you like the two colors that are present in the images are only like black and white okay whereas uh, rgb image means a colored image so we call this grayscale image as uh, you know one channel so these images have only one channel whereas rgb images have three channels so these three channels are nothing but red green and blue okay so here we have one channel so one channel represents only you know white and black and these three channels that we have are uh, uh, red green and blue hence we have the name rgb images so these are all the two types of images that we have and so this is like very important uh, when we are working with image data sometimes we can train our neural network with this uh, you know grayscale images or we can uh, train it with rgb images so when it is RG, rgb image uh, the size of the image is kind of larger the data that is stored in this image is larger because we have different colors but in the case of grayscale images as the number of colors is only two we have white and black so you know the number of uh, data that we have or in other words the size of the image is pretty low for a grayscale image com compared to a rgb image so what we basically do is in some cases we will convert this rgb image or colored images into grayscale images so that it is easier for our neural network model to work on so that the training can happen in a, in a shorter span of time whereas if you take a rgb image as uh, there is like more information in this like information in the sense like there are several colors so the size of the image is obviously going to be larger so we will convert this um, uh, rgb into grayscale in some cases and we will train our model so that is the difference between this grayscale image and rgb image now let's try to understand so how this grayscale image will be converted into numerical values and after that we will understand how this rgb images will be converted into numerical values okay so uh, and again so why we have these three colors is that so these three colors are called as the primary colors red green and blue are our primary colors and all the other colors are the combination of these three colors so you can get any colors if you combine these three colors in different proportion so i'll explain you how this comes uh, in the later later slides of this particular uh, ppt but for now understand that if you combine these three colors you can you can get uh, you know any colors based on different proportions of red or green or blue now let's try to understand how we are going to process grayscale images first so we have an image and uh, we have this particular image has a dimension of 200 into 200 that means like the total number of pixels we have is 40,000 so we have discussed about this right so 40,000 uh, means like we can uh, split this image into 40,000 small small boxes like in this case uh, if you count you won't get 40,000 of course I've just uh, shown this as a representation but assume that you can uh, split this images into 40,000 different boxes where we have 200 in the uh, x-axis and 200 in the y-axis now 
we can represent each box uh, with some numerical value let's say that we are converting this image into some matrix so we have different uh, values here and the shape of this matrix is 200 into 200 so the first value here is 0 so this corresponds to the first box the second value 20 corresponds to the second box and so on so we have a matrix which is the same shape as this image so if this is a 200 into 200 image you will have a matrix that is uh, that has you know 200 rows and 200 columns so this is the shape of the matrix where the first value represents the total number of rows you have and second value represents the total number of columns you have okay so we have uh, these many values are there so totally we will be having 40,000 uh, values in this particular matrix now what this value represents so all these uh, numbers lie in the range between 0 and 255 okay where 0 represents black color and if the color of that particular box is white that is represented as 255 okay so understand this thing 0 means black so 0 means black and 255 means a complete white okay so like uh, all the different values corresponds to different shades of this black and white so let's say that uh, the value is 10 that means like uh, the color is black but it is you know it's not like uh, that it's not like completely dark it is not completely black and uh, so we have different shades of uh, white and black in this range of 0 and 255 where 0 means it's like completely you know black and 250 means it's like completely white so you can represent all these colors with these values where this uh, 0 and 255 represents the what is the color intensity of white and black so if we say the properties of grayscale images we can say that all pixel value lies between 0 and 255 and 0 means black and 255 means white so this value represents what is the white color intensity so uh, 255 is the maximum intensity of white color so if you have 255 in one particular box that means like that box as a complete white color in it and if a box as a, a, a black color that will be represented as zero so what we are basically doing here is we are uh, splitting each pixel and we are giving some value to this particular pixel so this value is nothing but what is the intensity of white color so if the intensity of the white color is zero that means it is a uh, black color if the intensity is 255 that means like it is white in color so all the values are uh, ranges between zero and 255 so this is how you can convert this grayscale image into numerical values. So this image now has been converted to a matrix that has only numerical values. And this is the data that we will feed to our new neural network. Okay. So we are not doing anything. We are just uh, finding, you know, how many pixels are there. And for each pixel, for a uh, pixel means small, small boxes that we have in our image. And for each box, we are giving what is the white color intensity where 255 means the highest uh, intensity of white, which, which is, you know, basically white color. And zero is the darkest one, which corresponds to black color. So this is how grayscale images are processed. Now, so there is another interesting thing on how RGB images are processed. Okay. So now we have a colored image. So this represents a colored image of a dog. Let's say that this image also has a dimension of 200 into 200. That means the total number of pixels is 40,000, right? So we have different pixels here. So totally we have 40,000 small, small boxes here. And in each box, we have a specific color. Okay. And the grayscale image has been represented by one matrix that has, you know, 200 rows and 200 columns of values now. How this colored image will be represented is it will be represented in three matrices. So the first matrix will be what is the red color intensity of each box and the second matrix will be what is the green color intensity of each box or each pixel and the third matrix will be what is the blue color intensity. So we get the name RGB image. So as I've told you any color can be represented using the combination of this red green and blue okay so that's why we have this rgb image so let's let's look at this first box so this first box corresponds to the first value in this uh, red matrix the first value in the green matrix and the first value in this blue matrix so it is not like this color corresponds to 0 0 0 so i have just randomly come up with this number but you will get some other different values so just understand that so if this is a 200 into 200 image so all these matrices will have uh, the same shape because we are just converting this image into numerical values where uh, we are just you know stacking different matrices so this image can be split into three channels so hence this is the reason we have three channels uh, in the case of RGB whereas in the case of grayscale we have only one channel because the main color that we are focusing on white.
uh, you know, we are just finding what is the white color intensity. In the case of this RGB image, we have red color intensity and the green color intensity and blue color intensity. If the, you know, just consider this first uh, box. Okay. So let's say that in this first box, red color is predominant. In that case, the red color intensity value will be maximum and the green and blue intensity will be low. So the value will be low for this uh, green matrix box and this blue matrix box only for this first value if the first box is predominantly red in color. Okay. So all the values corresponds to each box. So if you take the first box, that value is represented by the first value in this red matrix, first value in the green matrix and the first value in this uh, blue matrix. If you take this last box or last, last pixel, this corresponds to the last value that is present in this uh, red matrix, last value in this green and last value in this blue matrix. So we are combining uh, this red intensity, green intensity and blue intensity. So when it is a RGB image, instead of having one matrices, matrix, we have three matrices, uh, uh, you know, which is, you know, uh, opposite to the grayscale image, where previously we have uh, only like one matrix because this corresponds to what is the white color intensity. And in this case, we have three colors. So we have three colored intensity. So this is how uh, RGB images or in other words, colored images are converted into numerical values. So once we make this conversion, we can feed this data directly to our neural network model. And now we can understand uh, what is that particular image and how this image looks like and so on. So we, we will come, you know, come to the training part later, but try to understand like the main thing that we have to understand here is like how we are converting this image to numerical data. So we are taking each pixel and we are uh, finding what is the red, uh, green and blue intensity separately and that contributes to my colored image. Okay. So if you see an image, so this is how it will look like. Let's say that we have an image of uh, 4 into 4 pixels. So that is what is represented as 4 units and uh, 4 width. So this image has been taken from this towards data science side. So let's say that it is a 4 into 4 image, which basically like, you know, contains totally 4 into 4, 16 pixels. So if you count this matrix, there will be like uh, 16 matrices. And uh, so if you consider this first box, uh, the first pixel of that image has a red intensity of 35 and green intensity of 9 and blue intensity of 4. If you consider the second box in this image, so it, it so the red intensity is 19, green intensity is 7 and blue intensity is 6 and so on. And uh, another main thing is, here also the values ranges between 0 and 255, okay? So like if the value is 0 in this uh, red color intensity, that means like there is no shade of red is there. If the value is 255, that, that particular pixel has only red color. So it is like completely uh, red and so on. So it, it is like similar to the intensity that we have in this grayscale. So as we know that here the value ranges from 0 to 255, but 255 being white and the 0 being uh, black. Here, if the value is uh, 255 for red, that means like that particular pixel is, is uh, you know, red in color. Zero means that pixel, you know, is, uh, doesn't have red, any red shades. So that is the idea. And this is how uh, an image can be converted into three matrices where uh, each matrix corresponds to the red intensity, green intensity and blue intensity. So this is why we call these images as three channeled images where there are three colored channels. So the one channel is red, the other channel is uh, green and the other channel is blue. So we have this RGB images. And uh, as I told you, you can get different combinations of color using these three colors. So we have red, green and blue which constitutes our primary colors and if you combine this red and, uh, red and green you will get yellow. If you combine this blue and green you will get this cyan and so on. If you combine blue and red you will get magnetar. If you combine all these colors in equal proportion you will get uh, white color. So when it will be white color is like uh, when the red intensity, green intensity and blue intensity all the things are 255 you will get white color okay so similarly you will get any colors by just combining different proportion of this uh, red blue and green and so on where this proportion is represented uh, by the value 0 to 255 so 255 means that particular color is in high proportion 0 means that no shades of that particular color is there so you can find some sites in google where you can give different values for this rgb and it will show you what is that particular color so i suggest that you can go through that and, and uh, see how this thing works okay so this is how we will convert the image or data into numerical values where we are just uh, basically taking the pixels and in the case of grayscale images we have only one channel so which corresponds to the white intensity values where the values ranges from 0 to 255 whereas in the case of colored images uh, what we 
we technically call this as RGB images. We have uh, three matrices or three channels and uh, each matrix corresponds to each color intensity where the first channel corresponds to red intensity, second channel corresponds to green intensity and the third channel is for blue intensity as shown here. Okay. So once we have this numerical data, we can feed this to a neural network model and it can understand like uh, what are all the similar images and, and uh, it can make further predictions. Okay. So the next video will be on uh, Python where we will try to implement this uh, implement this where we will try to uh, take an image uh, we will take both a grayscale image and uh, you know RGB image and we will try to see how all these things come together in Python okay so once we understand that the next video will be on uh, dog versus cat classification using neural network where we will train our neural network with uh, several images of dogs and cats and our neural network can uh, determine like if you give a new image it will tell you whether that image represents a dog or cat okay so this is the next set of videos that we will be discussing and I hope that you have understood what we have completed in, in today's video and I'll see you in the next upload thanks for watching